and things really are bad. And um, it seems as if, right, okay, uh, for anyone who don't, doesn't like Trump, well, congratulations. But uh, basically Trump has tried to, to uh, dampen down uh, the situation in Syria by insisting that the funding for the Syrian rebels is stopped. Yeah, That might upset some people, especially people who think that uh, the Syrian rebels are wonderful people and they really are the FSA and they really are struggling against uh, huge oppression of the Syrian government, etc., etc. But nevertheless, yeah, even if you think that, the fact is that all that's being achieved is more greater and greater loss of life, greater and greater lo destruction of you know vital services, um, infrastructure, and whatever. None of it's good. Yeah. And if you are one of those people, then um, you know, tell me about Yemen. Tell me what's happening there. Anyhow, um, uh, yeah, so he uh, insisted that arms funding was uh, curtailed by the CIA and um, the House and the Senate have decided and uh, voted virtually unanimously other than for the usual suspects like Rand Paul. Oh dear, that frightened. That frightened you, didn't it, darling? That frightened you, didn't like that. Anyway. Uh, the usual suspects like Rand Paul um, have voted uh, for increasing sanctions on Russia, and this is not just you know uh, one thing. There's a lot of stuff that's nested, as per usual. There's a lot of things that we're not going to hear about that are nested into this bill, and it has passed. And apparently, uh, it is a veto. Um, it's it he the the the. Um, the president will not be able to veto this, he'll have to sign it. And it has things in it that says that he will not be able to repeal these, um, repeal these, these, uh, these sanctions by executive order. Now apparently, um, uh, uh, and now the EU and a number of others are beginning to actually recognize what's happening in America and are bitterly complaining but uh, I don't know how much difference that's going to make. One way or the other, we seem to, our fortunes seem to be interwoven. But things really are bad. Um, now the Russians are taking um, reciprocal actions. And before you say, oh yeah, well that's just like the Russians. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, whatever you, again, whatever you think of Putin doesn't really matter whether it's a uh, a mad killer or not, the fact is that he's rational. Um, the Americans have not been behaving in any kind of rational manner unless what they actually want is nuclear war. It's as simple as that. Or at least in my mind. <laughs>